Good morning. Get your coffee ready, your Bible ready. Let's dig in. Jesus is God's selfie. <laughs> Such a great mug, isn't it? It's one of my favorite sanctuary mugs. Having a little bit of Java Junkie in that mug today. Really good stuff. Pecan pie flavor. Mm hmm I know. Have you tried it yet? Just saying. And uh, you can get that, all of our coffee blends, all of our mugs, all of our posters, all of our t-shirts. We are metal, we are family dot com. So I had an interesting encounter yesterday. Um, you know, I talk to people wherever I go. It's just my thing. And it's a Tennessee thing as well. You know, a lot of cities, people don't talk to each other. In, uh, in Tennessee, people do talk to each other, and I probably talk to people more than most people do. But if I'm standing next to somebody in a store, a grocery store, or standing in line, whatever, I will always engage the people around me. And they always talk back, and we always have great conversations, and I learn a lot and make new friends. So <clears throat> yesterday, I was talking to people, and in a store with my mom, we were doing a little shopping and in a discount store and having a good time, just kind of looking around and buying a couple little things that we needed. And we came to the checkout counter and I started putting all of the stuff on the, the conveyor belt. And, um, and the lady at the cash register looked a little stunned and she looked at me and she said, you look like God. And I said, well, I think that's probably a compliment. She goes, no, I don't mean Jesus. I mean his father, God, you look like God. And uh, I thought, well, that's an interesting compliment. I'm not sure what that means because I'm thinking about the pictures of God where he's an old, old white haired man and, you know, and all of that. and. Um, and then she just kept looking at me, just kept, she was visibly a little shaken. And uh, I thought, this is a very strange encounter. <laughs> it really was. And, and she looked at my tattoos and she said, what does your tattoos mean? And so I started going through them. All my tattoos tell a story. And of course, the first one right here is Jesus. And then it talks about the Bible and communion, his blood on the cross, and on this arm, you know, um, the dove and the sword of the spirit and et cetera, et cetera. And so I kind of explained a few of them. She was extremely interested. And there were people in the line that she didn't seem like she was all that much in a hurry to take care of. And uh, she really listened. And, uh, and as I talked about that Jesus is the visible expression of the invisible God, I could tell that she was listening. That's cool. I could tell she was listening. And so she put all my stuff in the bags and, you know, we had a, a nice encounter and I walked away and thought, you know, I think that was a cool encounter. And you know, I don't look like the pictures of God or any of that. But my biggest prayer was that she saw Jesus in me. And I hope that's the case. That would be awesome. But, you know, that is who Jesus is. He is God's selfie. And folks, since we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, the mind of Christ, the third part of the Godhead, the Trinity, we have God in the bod. And people ought to be able to see him through us. Now, they don't always know how to interpret him. They don't always need to say, I see Jesus in you. But she said, you look like God. I pray that's the case. And I pray that I'm representing who he is. That'd be awesome. 
You know, Jesus was talking about some similar things, and I want to go there, John chapter 14, and starting with verse 6. Jesus said to them, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, you've heard that scripture before. Did you ever continue to read past that scripture? Because it's really good. And he says, if you had known me, had learned to recognize me, you would also have known my father. Because when you recognize him, you recognize me, he says. From now on, you know him and you've seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the father. Cause us to see the father. That's all we ask. We just want to see him. Then we'll be satisfied. Jesus replied, have I been with you all for so long a time and you don't recognize and know me yet, Philip? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say to them, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? What I'm telling you, I do not say on my own authority and of my own accord. But the Father who lives continually in me does his works, his miracles, his deeds of power. Awesome, and that's who Jesus is. If you've seen me, he says, you've seen the Father. And folks, I pray, and we're not God, and we're not Jesus, but we have his Holy Spirit inside of us. And I pray that the same thing kind of rubs off on us, that when you see God in me, you begin to have a glimpse of the Father. We talked yesterday about, you know, sometimes getting a little bit too, um, how should I say, uh, wrapped up in our own hate and our own dislike of things. And when people see us, what do they see? Love? No, they see judgment. That's why Jesus said the most important commandment is love, love, love. Love God, love others, love yourself. Because love is that thing that people see in you and respond to. Yeah. Folks, don't forget you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.